All right, welcome back again to Bermuda Grass Central, BGC. This is your boy, Big Yard Dog, and guys, look, I labeled that video correctly. It is the holy grail of Bermuda lawn care. Let's talk about it. Okay, you are Look now, this this thing is called a soil sample probe. Its primary <clears throat> function is to you push it in the ground, soil will come up to here, and you actually get to see the wetness, what it looks like. Is it rocky? Is it sandy? And this this is great for getting your soil sample. You can use it for a lot more things, but. Today we're going to talk about getting soil samples with this soil sample probe, right? And what I normally do is I go around to probably about six, seven, eight, ten spots in my yard, and I pull samples. And I'm going to show you how to the part that you should take to the soil sample place so they can get an accurate reading. Now, bear in mind, most of this that I'm gonna get is before I actually did a pre-emergent application on that particular part of the yard. But if you've done a pre-emergent application on your yard, don't be too concerned about that. But it's best to go ahead and get it when you don't have the um, pre-emergent in it. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll actually start right here. Like I said, this is the rye grass and BYD Junior, if you can get a little closer so they can actually really see this. I'm gonna take this I'm gonna push it down in the ground. If I have to, I'm gonna give it a little twist. Now, bear in mind, I'm doing this when the grass or the soil is actually kind of wet. And I really don't like doing it then, but I wanna sh show you this because when you take this soil to the soil sample place or to UGA, your county extension, it needs to be not dry, but a little crumbly, all right? So let's, let's go ahead and get the first soil sample, all right? So I'm going to push it in and guys, sometimes you can go all the way or you can go halfway. If I keep pushing this, I feel like I'm going to go all the way, but I, I don't want a, a 15 foot long soil sample. This is a 20 inch soil sample right here. So I'm just trying to get the top six inches or where my roots really stop digging into the ground. That's the particular part of the soil that I'm looking for. So I'm, I push it in. You can give it a little twist if you think it's gonna be hard to get out. And I'm gonna pull it out, and as I pull it out, you'll see that soil sitting right there at the top. You see that? That's nice, isn't it? All right, so let's go ahead and get this soil sample, and I'm gonna put this to the side, and we're gonna get some more. Okay, guys, look, this is the first soil sample, and you simply just kind of push it from the bottom, and we're gonna go ahead, turn it that way, let it fall out, and we're gonna lay that there, and we'll come back with some more soil samples, all right? So let's go get some more soil samples. This is my second soil sample. And like I said, this is the back part of my yard where it's kind of hard. I'm having a harder time pushing down and I'm pushing with everything I got. So what that lets me know, it's real compacted back here. Um, I'm gonna have to do a lot more aerating back here. And more than likely, this is the area where I'll get broadleaf weeds or weeds. And you can see those bitter crest weeds like that one right there. And it's actually a sign because of this compaction and this wetness, I'm getting weeds like that. All right, so let's, let me go ahead and pull this out. All right, that's our second soil sample. On the right side of my house, I'm gonna go ahead and get a soil sample from this area right here. And, uh, and I'm just showing you this because I'm picking strategic points in my yard or you can just do it however you want to, but you need to get as many soil samples as you can. So you'll know the, the, when they give you your report, it'll be a little bit accurate, all right? So let's go ahead and do this side. Hey okay, guys, so sample number three. All right, and I'm pushing on this side and believe it or not, I hit a rock. Get a little twist. We're gonna pull that out. All right, that's soil sample number three. Guys, it's gonna be soil sample number four. Ooh, push that down. Ooh, a little twist. That up. Look at that. All right, that's number four. Okay, guys, this is number, what's this, number five? Number five, and guys, bear in mind, like I said, I'm trying to pick some of the trouble spots in my lawn 
so I can get a real good sample to the um, county extension office. So let's go ahead and get this one. You can hear that grass and roots breaking. Ooh, that's number five. Okay, guys, this is number um, six. And if you look, I'm up here with strip at. Like I said, I'm not gonna get 50 and 60 of them right now. You don't need that many, but like I said, depending on the size of your yard, go ahead and show me. Depending on the size of your yard, you need to get a decent amount, but you're not taking, you know, 20, 30 ounces of soil to them. You're literally only taking about eight to 10 ounces. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get one from here. And <clears throat> you, you heard that little crunch. That's it breaking the, the, the roots or the actual thatch layer of the grass. I'm gonna push down in it. Ooh, that went around down. Like I said, guys, I can push this all the way down, but I'm not trying to go that deep because my roots don't go that deep. All right. Pulling it up nice and slow. I like the way that went. All right, so let's go and look at these and I'll talk more about it. Okay, guys. And one, two, three, four, five. And this is the last one. Like I said, I just simply, you see I got latex gloves on, guys. It just make it a whole lot easier. And believe me, when it's dry, you, it won't be as messy as this. But I, like I said, I'm sitting on Georgia clay. I'm not in Florida. I don't have a sandy soil. I'm um, not in Kentucky. I don't have that real deep, rich soil. This is Georgia clay, just like mud, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that. We're going to put that there. All right, and I just want you to see the measurements that I got. Like I said, that's about five inches deep. I think this is the longest, around about six inches deep. And this is the shortest, which is like, what's that, BYD? Two and a half inches. And this came from my backyard, the part that slopes off, that's really, really hard that I had problems with my pre-emergent and getting a lot of weeds in there. All right, so let me show you some stuff real quick. Okay, you are fanatics. Look, what I'm about to show you is the section that I want to take to my county extension office. And by the way, guys, there will be a video link showing you that process should be, um, Courtney, should be up one of these corners. You'll see that link. Click on that link after you watch this video, and you'll see how to actually take this to the county extension office and get your results, all right? So what we're gonna do now is, if you see me cut into this, like I said, this is the crown part right in here, all right? The, the crown, excuse me, right up top right there. Then you got the little thatch layer. Now, you see that darkness all the way down in there? That's actually good soil right there. All of it is good soil, but this is comes from all that organic and mulching and all this and that over a period of years so what i'm looking at is when i cut into it i'm gonna start at the bottom I'm cut that part off and so I'm, I'm basically working with i don't see any roots in there i see silica and all kinds of other stuff in there but i'm gonna cut off a little bit more all right and what i'm looking for is some roots guys and generally, right that way, you see that darkness, you, you, you start seeing those roots. You can see that little bitty one right there. This area on down, see that, you see that root right there? Look at that, that's nice, look at that. Ooh, that's nice. See how deep that went? How deep did that go? From the grass root on down to the ground, we went about three inches. So I want the top, three inches but I'm not gonna take the top three inches of all of it but this is this is good man I like that look how thick oh, look at that look how thick that you see that that's a big one right there so but I don't want to take the roots I just want the soil so I'm gonna scrape that off and you're gonna get a few root bits in there some sticks and some twigs and stuff like that look at that oh that's gorgeous that's gorgeous man Oh man, I'm a nerd to it guys, but that's that's gorgeous right there. But we're gonna pull all those stems and little baby roots out. 
Put that in a pile. Look at that. It's gorgeous. That is, oh, that's awesome. All right, so we're gonna keep that separate. Same way with this one right here. And I kind of see where that darkness is at. Let's see if my roots, they, they don't go deep right there. So that particular part of my yard, I know I'm gonna have to do a little aerating. And it only actually went about an inch, inch and a half down on that particular part right there. So I'm gonna get some of that dirt. A little bit of dirt right there. All right, throw them roots over there. A little bit of dirt. Some of that, little, some of that clay. All right, and it's the same with all of them, guys. We're gonna kind of chop into it. See where our roots at. Uh, I see it right there. That's where I start seeing my roots kind of stoppage. You know, I'm gonna just take some of that that dirt. Them roots are looking. Take, get a picture of them roots right there. That's nice. Okay, we got this one. I'm gonna break it up. Get right there, just at the clay line. Oh, it's, it's going a little deeper right there. Yeah. A little bit of that. All right. And so what I'm gonna do is, I don't need all this super hard clay. I'm gonna get a little bit of it, but not a lot of it. Get that. Shred that up a little bit. Pull out top of that grass, some of these roots and little sticks. You, you're not gonna get them all, so don't don't try to be Quincy Carter MD for the old schoolers. And we got some right there. All right, so you see that right there, and that's roughly probably about six to eight ounces. Get a little bit more. Guys, like I said, you can get your scale and weigh it before you go. But you see, I got this Ziploc bag. <clears throat> I'm gonna take that. And the reason I'm doing this, guys, is because if you don't have the soil sample bag, take your soil sample with you so you don't have to make two trips. So you don't have to go get the bag, come home, do your samples, then take it back. That way you get take your soil samples with you and you can um, put it in a bag, and I think the cost was $8 as of 2018. It's 2019, you know, it might go up, but that was the price for mine. You know, all of them are different. <clears throat> so we got a nice soil sample there. I'm gonna close that up, kind of push a little of that air out of it. Close that up. Alright guys, and that's it. That's it. And like I said, all of that came from using the soil sample pro right there. <clears throat> and guys, like I said, wonderful tool. I think I got it off of eBay for like 50 bucks. The price of these will vary. I will tell you this. If you spend five dollars on one, it's gonna be cheap. This is stainless steel, it's not gonna bend or flex by any kind of way um but you know they got all kinds they have the ones that you can have a little lever i mean part, part comes off here that you can step into the ground but normally those are 30 42 inches whatever but something like this you know is a good tool to get your soil samples so you can take them to your county extension or however you get your soil samples um mail them in they got all kinds of stuff on Amazon that you can buy and mail yourself, mail your soil samples in to get the results you need. When you get those results, it's going to tell you exactly what kind of, how much nitrogen, if you need phosphorus, phosphorus, if you need potassium, and it has all the breakdown of the. The more elaborate it is, it may have silica, the minute minerals, everything that you need to know when you're purchasing your fertilizer, so you can get great results like BYD. Right. So guys, just remember one thing. You are tuned into Bermuda Grass Central with BYD in the soil test. I am Michael Bowman, and I'll talk to you soon.